I am rebuilding the antenna farm this summer after suffering damage to nearly all of them in a storm last winter. So I've been taking everything down. Most of the antennas are already off the towers. The one remaining antenna is that 222 megahertz Yagi there uh, on the 105 foot tower. Uh, that needs to come down. And I don't have room here for a conventional tram line. Let me say that uh, for years I put these VHF Yaggies up and down by just lowering them on a rope straight down the side of the tower, pulling them up the same way. That works fine. A lot of people do that. I've done it many times, but it's easy to bend an element or get in some kind of trouble doing that. And I like to have everything perfectly straight and clean when they're up there. So I'm now using a tram line, even though these are VHF and very small, lightweight antennas. But I don't really have room for a conventional tram line to come down to the ground because the guy wires from this other tower come down out there halfway between the towers. They're right in the way and I've got buildings in the way going uh, the other way. So what I've done to compensate for that is the tram line comes off that tower up there and actually comes straight over, almost straight over to the top of this other tower. And the uh, tram line stops and transitions to a rope there just a few feet out from the tower and the, a very strong uh, synthetic rope but small diameter comes down here to a little hand winch at the bottom of this tower. So uh, initially when the antenna comes off the other tower on the tram line it'll just be coming out mostly horizontal or, or downward at a very slight angle toward this other tower to about the halfway point. And then I'll lower the tram line, let it go slack between the towers, which brings the antenna down. And just to avoid any possibility of bending the mast up there, there's a backstay, which I don't know if you can make out in the video, but there's a backstay cable. Uh, both the tram line and the backstay are 3 16 inch uh, aircraft cable or wire rope. There's a backstay that goes down exactly 180 degrees opposite the tram line way out into the front there to the driveway and there's uh, it's attached to a little lawn and garden tractor there uh, out in the front yard in the driveway. So uh, that's how this system works and it uh, may seem like a lot of trouble for a small VHF antenna but again uh, I think uh, for me this works better than pulling them straight up. When I put this antenna up there I actually uh, this one in a 432 megahertz Yagi I actually bent an element on uh, one of these and didn't notice it uh, until I got it all up the tower and then I was up on top of the tower for about an hour and a half one day trying to poke out there with a long uh, aluminum pole and uh, straighten the element. So this avoids any of that, uh, at least so far this has avoided uh, any bent elements or anything like that for me. So this is the way I'm doing it. So that's the setup and uh, I will try to get some video of actually bringing the, uh, the last antenna up there down. Not sure how that's going to work, but uh, hopefully I'll be able to get some video of that and add it to this uh, later on. And most of the other antennas are already down. I'll just uh, walk over here quickly. I've got the uh, 2 meter and 6 meter antennas over here which have already undergone repairs and modifications. Uh, pretty much ready to go back up after I get this other one down and modified. And then over here, there's the, uh, the two and the six from the end. And over here laying down, I've got the, uh, the rather long 432 megahertz Yagi. And over here, the uh, ill-fated high-gain TH-11DX, which uh, had served me well, but it really got beat up pretty badly in the storm. Uh, the traps got physically beat up. Trap caps are all uh, broken. Some of the elements are uh, were bent. I've straightened them out some. So I don't know if that antenna is going to end up being repairable or have to get replaced to be determined. Yet I'm still trying to get parts for it, which hasn't been easy. So okay, that's it for now, and hopefully I'll be able to get some video of the 
222 Yagi coming down and later on some video of at least one of them going back up. I won't take videos of the whole thing. I I work alone and it's tough enough to do the work, let alone be trying to manage uh, somehow getting some video footage uh, of the whole thing. 